one. And if you are thinking to yourself, Victoria, this is a lot of things to manage and a lot of goals to pursue. It sounds like you're not going to have time to do anything else in your life and you might be right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, depending on where you are. This is Victoria. I'm here with another video. Um, I am planning a full year here in 2023. Um, I know that maybe I'm a little late for some of these 2023 goals. Um, but I thought a fun video to do would be go over the really uh, four possibly five things that I'm really focused on this year. They are some big ticket items and probably different series that will go on this channel as I kind of go through them this year and see how um, I can measure the success on them and how these goals pan out in a year. Let's get into goal number one. My first goal of this year is to join the Junior League. Um, for anyone who's not familiar with Junior League, which I will admit I am somebody who is not super familiar with the Junior League. It's a organization that has many chapters across the US and across the world. And it's for young women primarily, um, focused on helping them uh, with their chosen career paths, uh, with development and making connections, but most importantly, to uh, grow them in acts of service and they choose uh, different community organizations to work across the area that they're in. So since I'm in the Dallas area, I'm looking at the Junior League of Dallas and currently with uh, 60 plus uh, Dallas-based organizations. And uh, in this process, I've learned quite a bit about it. I'm going to do a video that dives deeper into this as I go into it. Um, my reason for looking into joining the Junior League is uh, really two. The first one is, is I moved to Dallas about a year and some months ago, and I have not really been able to make connections with people outside of my day job. I'm trying to make connections with some women in the Dallas area, um, make some new friendships, outside of work and outside of my D&D group and looking for women who are, you know, career driven and service driven. And the Junior League seems like a place that I might be able to do that. Um, the a second reason is I mentioned uh, the Junior League is a service based organization um, and I miss volunteering. I have not um, put much time into volunteering uh, since I made my move to Texas about six years ago. And um, I think this is the perfect opportunity to find an organization that I can do service with and also hopefully meet some like-minded women uh, to form some connections with and uh, be able to build a new uh, social life here in Dallas. The second thing I'm focusing on is a YouTube channel, as you can see right here. Um, so, goal started. Um, I'm going to measure um, this channel by is number of videos, just because I'm not quite sure what my end goal is with this, other than to make connections online to flex my creative muscle and maybe make some content that's relevant to somebody or uh, helps them get through their day. Uh, so I am having a goal of creating 20 YouTube videos this year. I feel confident in this goal. Um, I can't wait to see, you know, what comes from this, if anything, and uh, really just learn more about video editing and using social media and doing all of this great stuff because I have so much respect for content creators and all that they put into their work and I just think it's amazing skills that they're developing and I'm looking forward to doing the same and uh, 
I would be happy to share with you maybe later on some things I've really learned uh, within the first year of doing this and really, you know, check back in with you at the end of 2023 to see uh, where I want to move forward with YouTube and uh, what lessons I've learned. Goal number three, be learning uh, Cantonese this year and forever and ever going, but really taking an active uh, role in trying to learn it. It's been a goal of mine that I have not done very well with it um, thus far, but my partner's family speaks Cantonese, and so I would like to um, be able to bridge that language gap better. I'm excited. I've already booked five lessons out for 30 minutes um, a piece once a week, and I did see that there were some Cantonese books that have recently come up on Amazon, so I'm excited to look into those and have some to do some self-study, and then of course practice with my partner so I'll be able to have uh, full conversations and really be able to engage in an authentic way with his family. So it brings us to goal number four. I am trying voice acting. Uh, I I'm currently a game master for a D&D campaign and after watching Critical Role and just getting more involved and having more fun creating characters and voices and inhabiting them on a weekly basis, I thought it would be really fun to take voice acting lessons, uh, but I'm currently taking a class every Saturday morning uh, with a group here that's Dallas based called um, Voices by Carrie. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold. Voices carry, which makes sense, but carry spelled like C A R E Y. Um, the name of Bruce Carey, who founded the the voice acting school. Um, so it has been fun. I have done uh, a total of two at the time of this filming. Um, a lot of work to be done. I'm not sure where it's going to go, but I'm excited to continue to learn and grow uh, in this new um, creative outlet that I'm trying. Okay, number five. Uh, this one has been a goal of mine for many, many of years, and this one is probably the most concrete. I would say of the goals that I've listed here in this video. Uh, so I've been working on a manuscript on and off probably since November of 2019, maybe November 2020, I think November of 2019. Uh, written um, a full manuscript of it. It was pretty terrible, I'll be honest. But I've had many iterations and many versions of the story on paper through planning in my head and I put it on pause for a while just because I was um, just not in, in the right uh, mental space to really put that time and effort and put my energy in there. I needed to focus on myself for a little while. So I am now going to re-embark on this and I will definitely be doing a series on this because I'm hoping it will hold me accountable uh, to getting this done. Um, so my goal is to have the third manuscript, the third version of this story completed and ready to possibly be sent to publishers and things like that by the end of 2023. Well, if you're still here, thanks so much for listening. I don't want to force you to be my accountability partner, but I appreciate you watching this video. I'd love to hear what goals you have for 2023, things you're excited about. Um, if you know anything about the things that I talked about here uh, in this video, please feel free to let me know. I'd love to get some advice on them. And until then, um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.